Hello, my name is Sue Grant and um, we're aboard today um, FPB 78, the amazing legendary Cochise. And with me are um, Ruth Ann and Travis, who uh, run Cochise for her current owner. And um, this is the yacht which was built for Stephen Linda Dashu of Dashu Offshore. She was the second of their FPBs, their ultimate yacht. They built first FPB 83 Windhorse, another legendary yacht, and they um, cruised with her for over 60,000 miles. And in between that, they built the FPB 64s, that was a series of um, 11 of them, and they also built FPB 97 Iceberg. This boat, Cochise, was the what came out after all that experience, all that product testing, crossing oceans and doing amazing things. And this boat is very special. They took delivery of her in New Zealand. She was built at uh, Circa Marine in North Island. And uh, they steamed with her from uh, Fiji um, through the Panama Canal and uh, back to the States. And that was when she was a very new boat. And um, then they cruised with her in the States. And uh, Travis, you didn't sort of take over with her um, when she changed hands, did you? You've got quite a bit of history with this lovely boat. Yes, yeah. So I met uh, Steve and Linda um, when they were cruising on the main coast. Mm -hmm. uh, I lived up there and I saw the boat go by and we had sort of a chance encounter meeting. Um, and uh, they asked me to do a couple of odd jobs around the boat. And mm -hmm. we hit it off and then did a passage uh, from Canada down to New Jersey. Um, little did I know that was kind of a trial run for them uh, to see if they liked me <laughs> <laughs> well enough to, to have me come on board. And so uh, I spent the next uh, few uh, winter seasons, sort of fall into spring, uh, with them uh, for yeah two two years or so. That must be amazing because he's the most incredible ship hander, isn't he? He just yeah. he is just epic. Yeah, it's it's definitely a lot to. Uh, try and soak in as mm -hmm. much as you can around Steve because at all times you can be learning yeah. uh, from him for sure. Yeah. Uh, so it was really it was an honor to be able to work with them for, for as long as I did. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, as, as you mentioned, I, uh, I went with the boat afterwards after the sailing. Well, I remember it very well because uh, Cochise was sold and it was locked down and it was yeah. all very difficult and she was shipped to Europe and uh, the new owner saw her for the first time when she arrived in Germany. And um, Steve um, kind of sent you too. You were sort of like Paddington Bear. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so you came with Cochise. And of course, you never left because um, you and Cochise are kind of a pair. Yeah, yeah. And then there was Ruth Ann. <laughs> so, so you joined when, when the refit started? Yes. Yes, yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. just prior. So we did, um, we did some cruising in uh, Norway. Mm -hmm. um, we, we left Germany, went up to around Bergen, and then back down. So that was when Ruth Ann joined, and right. refit started soon after that. Perfect. Yeah. So where we are today is uh, sitting in Bertha Leamington Marina in um, England on a very breezy day, autumnal day, and, um, and Cochise is here, and she's just through the refit. So, um, and it's been huge, and um, Ruth Ann and Travis have been here all the way through it. And so, can you just tell us what we did? You've got, yeah. you've got 40 seconds, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, we did a major overhaul on the electrics, kind of both sides of it, power and navigation. Mm -hmm. um, so, we've got new lithium ions, we've essentially tripled the capacity that we used to have with the lead acid. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, you know, basically high-tech, more capacity batteries. Uh, in doing so, we had to change a few things for the solar. Uh, so new solar chargers, uh, as well as... But we've like got I more said. solar now, haven't we? Uh, no, so we've, with the aft deck, yeah. we've uh, removed four panels and made a larger sort of sun deck. Right. But I'm getting ahead of myself because we talk about the aft deck, sorry. Right, Carry right. On. Carry on. Uh, but we have six panels uh, over the top of the matrix that mm -hmm. uh, weren't there at build. Mm -hmm. um, so we have more capacity than was there originally, um, and they're just located in a different spot. Right, okay. Um, and then we have the new nav equipment. So a whole new suite of Alfruno kit uh, for 
two radars, uh, TZ2 black boxes, TZ3 touchscreens around the boat, um, satellite compasses, three of those. So uh, a lot new, a lot of new kit. <laughs> right. Okay. 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 Um, and then, and then also, she's changed in so much as um, when she came here, she had three cabins. So we've dramatically increased the amount of... Uh, now she has of, five. Yeah. So, 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 so can you just... Yeah, can yeah. You just uh, so we about? have two new cabins. We have a new forward cabin uh, as well as a new aft cabin, what we yeah. call the executive lounge. <laughs> um, and up forward we have two bunked beds similar to the uh, Grey Wolf. Um, and then aft we have either a VIP space or a crew space. Um, it is the most epic crew accommodation. It has a crew mess double berth, lovely heads, storage, and this is really cool. Um, she's, because uh, she's is the only one of the 78s where from the executive lounge, you can step onto the swim step. So you've kind of got your own beach club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Waterfront access right out the door, which is, it's really lovely to, if you can keep the door open, wake up and just look out at anchor, which is uh, pretty, pretty spectacular. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then of course, Ford of the new um, the new upper and lower berth cabin, which is Ford of the uh, owner's stateroom, you've also done a lot of work in the sort of the boot, the the man cave. The right. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 So the four peak had to be uh, shrunk down because of the new cabin, uh, which meant much more efficient packing uh, for the storage. So we have 15 large uh, boxes of storage there that are all racked and uh, cataloged, organized. They've got you know, QR codes to scan everything inside. We have laundry up forward, uh, new anchor storage for our spare anchor, um, new horn, uh, a, lot of, a lot of new toys. And then kind of the biggest kind of exciting thing that we've added up there is the 360 degree sonar. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a Fruno CH600, which and, is- And, and just, just, just tell me a little bit about that, that capability and when you would use it. Yeah, so, so that uh, CH600, drops out of the bow and will do a, a complete scan, sort of like radar underwater, if you will. Mm -hmm. And you can use that in the ice uh, to s detect anything that you can't see above the water surface. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you're in a low latitude location and you know not very good charts, then you can look for coral heads and things like that. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a major aid to navigation in places where charts are lacking. Mm -hmm. um, and then what it's designed for is for fishing as well. Right. Um, so if you want to, you can chase down some, some big fish and Fantastic. get dinner for the crew, <laughs> for everybody on board. Yeah. So. Which they can eat on their beach club. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. Okay. And you've also done some stuff with the um, um, handling dinghies, haven't you? Yes. So uh, we've now got two of the same winches on, on either side. Uh, so previously there was a Lumar reel winch on the starboard side, and then on the other side it was just manual. Um, so after the modifications, we have two of the identical winches um, on either side, so that that way, if one fails, we can either relocate or lift on the opposite side of the boat. Okay, fine. And one of the things about this um, about Koshis is she's the only one that um, she doesn't have um, veneers. She has mm -hmm. high gloss paint, and you really have to see. And we'll do a walkthrough. But the modifications that have been done in these two new cabins. Um, the standard is exactly the same as elsewhere in the boat and this sort of finish only works if the finish is faultless and it is. So then, the Matrix deck. Ruth Ann, tell us about the Matrix deck. Um, well, I think before what the Matrix deck was was always kind of a constant experiment, ongoing experiment mm. to see, you know, where do the electronics suit best, where are they easy, more easily accessible. So it was kind of always a work in progress um, and a workspace. But now with the modifications that we've done, it's more of a space for everybody to enjoy. So not only the person who's on watch and navigating and working, but for others to come and join them as well. It's a much more warm space. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels more permanent. Yeah. yeah, so obviously, yeah. I mean, Steve was always <laughs> trying to discover a new way to do something a little bit better. And so that 
Matrix has been through, like, well, like I remember said, when so she was in Beaufort. I mean, every time she went back in, <laughs> um, the wonderful Cory McMahon was uh, told to put that there, do that, rip that out, do that, we'll try yeah. it this way. So, yeah. mm -hmm. so when she arrived uh, with her new owner, she had the experiment. Yes. Yeah. 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 I worked with Corey for quite a number of months on a bunch of different iterations of various things. And so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just. I so, think so, so, so can we just go through what's been done? Because it's, it, it, it's a lot and it's yeah. transformed the boat again. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So one of the big things is the decking has been changed. So it used to be the treadmaster that's around the boat. All of that is still around, um, but just on the Matrix, we've switched to the Flexi Teak, um, which just underfoot is more comfortable when you're barefoot. Looks cool. Um, which, yeah, it, it looks really nice and clean, and it warms the space a little bit, going mm -hmm. from gray to kind of a light brown. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, we have a new permanent helm, uh, which is really nice. Uh, we've got you know a few new controllers for the new kit. And then we have all new furniture, which is big. Big. Um, yeah. So we have a lovely sort of L-shaped, similar to this uh, couch up there, as well as a chaise lounge and a new wet bar, uh, which uh, has a sink and refrigeration and can be accessed from the outside as well. Um, now, so the outside, that's another, that was a huge job. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, so that's, we briefly mentioned it earlier, but um, we essentially had to provide more support for that aft deck that was just solar. Mm -hmm. So we've removed a ladder truss that was there and then had a Vectus Marine, a local uh, design firm, come in and tell us what we needed to add to support, you know, a number of people, eight people up there on that deck. Oh, so that'll take eight people? Yes, yeah. And so mm -hmm. now we have kind of a robust pillar on the aft deck, which I'm sure we'll see in the mm -hmm. walkthrough, um, with flanges that come out and support it. And now we have a much larger sort of sun deck balcony area uh, with a couple of couches and, like I said, access from the other side to the wet bar. Um, yeah, so, 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 so she really is transformed and this is all being done so that she's ready to go around the world for a family and with crew. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So what have we missed? What, what else? I mean, those are the main mm. thing. I mean, it, it's a lot. Yeah. It is a lot. It is yeah. a big project. And you guys have been at it for... 12 months? Yeah, yeah, just about a year. Yeah. Yeah. And, and now she's ready to go. So one of the things about Cochise is that she's a big girl. So she's a 78, she's 86 overall. Um, you know, she's uh, three decks, she's um, all of those things. And you look at her and you think, gosh, she's a lot to handle. But of course, Steve and Linda never had a boat that they couldn't handle two-handed. Right. And the two of them would dash around in this boat in their 70s, just the two of them. Yeah. And Steve used to quite enjoy the idea. He'd said, uh, you know, you come in and you'd anchor up and, uh, you know, people would look over and see these two old guys on this boat and wonder how it was all happening. So, so what I wanted to, to develop with you guys is the two of you handle the boat, just two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. The owner chooses to have crew. Right. So um, how... How easy is she to handle in close quarters and, and, and how does all that work? Yeah, it, I mean, coming from, you know, working with Steve, yeah. uh, I obviously got to see the master at work, basically. Yeah. Um, which Didn't really was, need you. <laughs> no, it was <laughs> nice to be there, though. <laughs> um, so it was great to be able to see him handle the boat and then have him put me through various situations and things like that. Uh, and really get a feel for, oh, you know, she can turn on a dime if you mm -hmm. want her to. Mm -hmm. um, we had the bow thruster plated over until the boat went for sale. So <laughs> I hadn't even used the bow thruster until the new owners. Um, and I think that is a, a you know, huge testament to how maneuverable she is just with, you know, two engines. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, but yeah, I, th I think that uh, as far as a vessel this size goes, it's, it's pretty tremendous what you can do with two people. Yeah. Um, and as long as you, you know, put the time in early to learn the boat, then you'll be fine. Yes, it's all about just learning her, yeah, learning absolutely. her little ways. Yeah. And she's very biddable. Yeah. I mean, okay. you've got, we've got two steering pumps that we can turn on for docking, which means we have got a seven second hard over to hard over, which is, uh, you know, 42 degrees in either direction. Mm -hmm. So you've got nearly 90 degrees of range in seven seconds, wow. which is tremendous. Yeah. 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 That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. 
Absolutely. So, so Ruth Ann, you've mm. been at sea for a long time because before Cochise, what were you doing? I was working on tall ships before I came to Cochise. Right. So, yeah, educational sailing um, and environmental teaching on ships. So, this is my first private boat, but also my first motor vessel that oh, I've worked on. Oh, first clockwork boat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so having, you know, been through the refit and uh, I know you've been to sea on her, wh what do you love most about Cushies? I like her ability to just kind of go anywhere, but then also too with this refit, not only can you go anywhere and enjoy the journey on her, but you can enjoy where you are. Now that we've created more spaces to to relax and enjoy the outside space. Mm. That's that's really mm. interesting. That's really interesting. And what about you, Travis? Top tip for the Koshis? Oof. Uh, it's hard to narrow it down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I think that kind of similarly along along those lines, two things would come to mind. One, just from a handling perspective, I really love that whether you're at the interior helm or at the matrix, you have you know, you're in a fishbowl basically. You've yeah. got 360 degree view of everything, which is, you know, for that, for about this size with an interior helm to have that is, you know, irreplaceable. Um, but then kind of what Ruthann was saying, for me, I think that it would be the, the comfort of knowing, of, of having confidence in the boat. Uh, so, you know, when you get caught eventually, because somebody, you know, you will, uh, and you're in bigger seas than you expected or higher winds, whatever it is, just having the confidence in the boat and knowing that she'll perform is, you know, I think you can't replace that feeling. Yeah, yeah. A lot of FPB owners say it is this, th th this, this safety that the boat brings and the more that you spend time at sea, the more you realize right. that you can spend time at sea. Yeah, yeah. So, Cochise, 78, one. FPB.